Hello everyone, this is Hina and welcome to another tutorial of Trillion Marketing and today I'm going to create a vintage logo design based on mountain. This is a very simple and easy technique that I'm going to use to create these sort of uh, mountain based logo design that you, that you can easily design it if you are learning Illustrator. And uh, so let's start now. First of all, what I'm going to do, I'm creating a mountain structure just by using this hand tool and this is very simple and easy way to do what I'm going to do. I'm simply taking this sand tool and roughly designing this uh, structure of mountain this is irregular in nature so i'm not going any uniformity at this uh, uh, at this stage so i'm simply taking uh, this design like this and now i'm creating another layer to this and, and generally design the you know parallel lines uh, along with this uh, structure so this is very simple and easy way to uh, design uh, these structures that you can easily do this and uh, you don't need to be very specific and uh, there is no precision to create these sort of uh, design because uh, there is no specific rule to this mountain i'm just uh, uh, taking this uh, like like uh, like uh, like this and you can create uh, in the same way right now the structure is very pointed and sharp so i'm, I'm going to make it a little curvy for this uh, i'm going into the effect section here stylized round corner and here i'm going to use uh, eight pixels from here and uh, but before that make sure you have selected your and design and here you can do this and i'm going to add pixels uh, from here and you can turn on the preview mods here so you can see that how it will be looking like so it will be looking like this so this is a very simple and easy way to design these sort of uh, mountain structure you can also use the paint brush tool in uh, and you can also use the block brush tool to design these mountain structure as well but, but it's all depend upon you how do you want to uh, make it look like now the next step that i'm going to do i'm taking this uh, pen tool again and this time i'm going to create a simple uh, straight line just by pressing shift and here turning off this fill color from here and turning on the stroke color and here i want to use the stroke size around four points so it will be a very thick line and here i'm going into the effect section wrap and i just want to bend this line with 21 percent and you can turn on the preview mod so you can see that how the dial line is looking like now i i have done this and here i'm going to change the color to this uh, this one this is the color that i've already you know uh, take it but it's a default color of adobe illustrator so you can also choose uh, here now what in the next step that i'm going to do i'm simply taking it and reducing it down a bit like this here and if you want if you want to make it a little thick again then you can also do this but it's depending you can do it later as well and now uh, i'm going to use this type tool from here and simply writing the text that is cap mount like this and here i'm using yeah, i'm scaling it up so you can easily see that how it will be looking like and here you can choose the spacing between the characters around 200 pixels 200 points and uh, the font that i'm going to use that is the rock well condensed so i'm going to use it it's a very very vintage uh, sort of font uh, that you can use in your uh, vintage design or the retro or uh, type of format and then you can easily do the, do that so uh, and now i'm going to change the color that is uh, uh, I'm going to select it first and then I will change the color of this text like this and here I want to use another text that is adventure so I will place it uh, below the cap mount like this and you can just place it here like this but before that what you can do you can simply align it in the middle here like this and you can just adjust this the curviness of this line so it will be matched according to your design you you have to reduce the size of this text because it should be aligned 
between each and every um, 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 with the mountains or the lines so you are going to align it again so it will be looking like this if you want then you can do uh, the same thing that you have done with the arc uh, with the text here 21 percent preview it and you can do it like this so now i am selecting the both shapes together and just giving a little angling to the design so it will be matched uh, to our concept so you can place it here and now what i'm going to do i'm taking a simple line like this here and i can cancel it and now i'm taking this to white and turning off this fill color from here and uh, here I want to use the four points as we already did in the above line. So I will place it here simply and reduce it down like this. And uh, you need to decrease, um, decrease the length. So I will uh, take a copy of this by pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl F and drag it to the right. So it will be looking like this. Now I'm simply taking this one and this line group it together and now I will align it everything so it will be looking like this now where I need to create another tag that is 1980 here and simply increasing the size a bit and place it at the downside just like this you can just scale it up if it's too small to view then you can see that how it will be looking like this how everything is aligned and in the middle and uh, i'm just uh, adjusting this text and converting it into the outline the same way i'm converting the outline the upper one as well so it will be looking like this and here yeah, i'm aligning it again so it will be you can adjust it if anything is okay so this one is fine and i need a little angling to this one here in the big test in the risk cap mount and i'm just taking a little angle to uh, to adjust the overall concept so now you can see that it's overall merged with the concept and it's ready to go. So I'm, I'm using a simple background here from here and placing it like this. And here I'm going to take this background and here and you can take any color on the background but i want to take it that uh, which is quite much with the design now i have to change the color of adventure m 1980 so it will be looking like this now and here you can simply change the color of this line to this one and uh, now i'm simply removing the fill color from here and giving it a four point again uh, the best idea to do this so you can expand the overall concept of this design so i'm uh, pressing ctrl 2 to lock this layer and selecting each and everything together going to the object here you can expand uh, appearance so it will be looking like this now i'm going to take a copy of this um, of these mountains and here i'm just increasing scaling the size up like this here and, uh, and now what i'm going to do i'm diffusing the opacity around five percent five percent from here so you can see that how it will be look like now you can simply take it uh, here and just reduce this layer from here and go arrange and bring to front and now you can place your low opacity mountains here this is just for to, to show your clients if you want to create a mock-up of this design then you can show in this way otherwise you don't need to do this if you are working on the overall concept of the logo design and you want to save in, in a png format or read them or whatever you want to do so this is just for the mock-up so thank you so much for watching and i will come back to you in other tutorials uh, subscribe to my channel have a very good day bye bye